This is an easy and quick walkthrough showing you how to upload your event or classes to the local family directory that will show up on the events section that gets shared on social media and to hundreds of unique hits. So uh, what you need to do, it's really simple. You put in your name. For example, I'm just going to pick a name of random. That's Mark and let's put an email address in here. Um, do use your correct email address because um, if I need to contact you about every, anything, I can. Um, once you put your details in, we need to put the event name. So for example, it's going to be a summer fair. Um, you could put the town, you could put Weybridge or whatever you fancy. Okay, it's good to keep it relevant though. Now, when? Now, if you're putting up a class and it's a reoccurring event, for example, a class that happens every Monday, click this button, okay? If it's a one-off event, if it's just this summer fair and it's gonna happen just once, then what you need to do is you select uh, the date. So we're gonna have the fair happening this Saturday so it starts on the 25th of June and finishes on the 25th of June. Some events may go over two days, so that's fine. You would just put to the Sunday or to the Monday, whichever date. Um, and let's give uh, people, a, let them know what time the event starts. So we're going to say it's going to start at 10 and it's going to run through lunchtime and finish at about 2 o'clock. Now, you can put in your own unique venue. Um, there are a lot of preset venues um, already on the database. So, for example, if I pop in the light box, um, you will see that's already in there. You just select the light box and it'll pop up. OK, so it asks for the address, the town, uh, the county, postcode, region, you really don't have to put the region in. I would highly recommend you put a postcode because that really helps people when they're coming to you and using the sat nav. But as for region, you can leave that blank. Now, as for details, um, you pop the details about why people should come to your event, what's going on. So, for example, it's a great family event. It's got a barbecue, a fair, um, face painting, and it's raising funds for X, Y, Z. Um, these are all examples. Your, your event could be something completely different. This is just an example for you. What I would highlight is please, please, please remember, put your website if you have one, and also contact details if you want people to be able to contact you. For example, if you're running a class, um, it's a really good idea to put your contact email, your contact number, so people can contact you easily, all right? So then you want to choose um, what category, okay? So for example, well, I'm gonna do this as a fundraising event. Now, for your event image, you just hit choose file, and then you go to your computer and then you select, so here's one I prepared earlier. So here we go. And then you can see it's attached itself there. And then you hit submit event. So that is just connecting to the server. And then you get a little green box that says you have successfully um, submitted your event to local family directory um, events page. Um, and it will be published pending approval. So I just go have a quick check, make sure it's all kosher. Now, just a reminder, some important little facts that will help you. Okay, images. All right. It's really advisable to send either a JPEG or upload a JPEG or a PNG file. Most people are familiar with JPEGs. A PNG file is simply uh, one that we use more on the internet. The maximum size is 500 kilobytes. That's a big file. You know, you can get most of your posters and everything on there. And that little reminder again, that reminder um, that to add your contact details and also your website. OK, so let's not forget those details. And then finally, once your, uh, once your event is approved, if we click on the events tab here, then <clears throat> it won't have gone on yet because I haven't approved it. But I'll just give you an example. So we're going through Thursday, Friday. So what do we got here? I'm sure there's a fair. Here we go. So for example, so this Saturday, uh, between 11 and 3, Burr Hill School have their summer fair. And also this Saturday, um, there's a summer fair at St Matthew's Infant School. So that's where it would appear. So that your little image, that image that you uploaded, 
it shows actually on the page um, and then all the details are there. So if we went to this one, for example, just very quickly, you can see they've put in details. It shows you where you are and what time. Thank you so much. This has been Debbie from Local Family Directory, helping sharing your events with the general public.